This episode of the Young Turks brought to you by Squarespace. The Chamber of Commerce is pro-Republican to say the least. Uh, they believe, as I said, in lower taxes. Uh, they believe in less regulation, etc. And so when Tom Donahue there had uh, went uh, and spoke in Atlanta, he also said something very curious, uh, which was to upbraid the Republican Party, especially the Tea Party members. He said, you know what, uh, they better get in line basically, right, and raise that debt ceiling. Because the Chamber of Commerce represents those banks, and those banks think, no, 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 we got no interest in you fooling around with the debt ceiling because that might raise interest rates, which could cause a lot of problems for them for a great number of different reasons, and they don't want that, they don't want to lose a nickel over this. And look, they bought the Republican Party, so they, they want what they paid for. And look at what Tom Donahue says, because this is great. He says uh, that they better, that these uh, new Republican freshmen better do what they're told, or quote, we will get rid of you. We will get rid of you. I, nothing has been said in politics that is truer than that. That's it. He nailed it. That's uh, Republican politics and actually overall politics 100%. If you don't do as corporate America or in reality multinational corporations tell you to do, they will get rid of you. That is not an idle threat. That is absolutely correct. And uh, when asked about John Boehner, he had this condescending comment. He's growing into his shorts. He's put on his big boy pants. Oof. In other words, fall in line, man. We tell you what to do, and if you're going to be a good big boy, okay, you follow orders. We're your boss. Now, John Boehner doesn't mind that because he's grown into his big boy pants. He knows how to take orders. He's great at taking orders from the uh, corporate world, right? So they're mostly covered. But Donahue's worried about the Tea uh, Party freshmen, which I think is to the great credit of the Tea Party freshmen. Now, a lot of people will take this story because then now the fight has begun. And they will say, oh my God, you see that fun? There's an internal battle within the Republican Party. They're falling apart. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that, okay? What I care about is someone actually standing up to corporations. And shockingly enough, it's a guy who I think has said crazy things in the past. A uh, new uh, congressman from Illinois, Joe Walsh, stands up to Tom Donahue. He goes on Fox News and he takes him on. Let's listen. Congressman, what do you make of that? Neil, I found Tom Donahue's comments outrageous, uh, tone deaf, totally establishment, and doesn't understand at all uh, where we're at right now. And, so you and don't I've think he was joking, you, Congressman? No, you know, not at all. If he was joking, Neil, he was joking as much as the president was joking yesterday when he said maybe these shovel-ready projects weren't really shovel ready I'm, yeah, I'm I'm tired of these little jokes hey if Tom Donahue is more comfortable having Nancy Pelosi as speaker next year because he wants to get rid of all of us Tea Party fiscally conservative freshmen who came here on a mission to save our kids from the debt we're placing on their backs then then fine he can have Nancy Pelosi as his speaker I found his comments outrageous now, do I agree with the Tea Party on their spending priorities? Of course not, right? Do I even agree with them on raising the debt ceiling? I do not, right? But I still find that to be incredibly positive. The reason I find it to be positive is he's saying, look, I got sent here by my voters. Now, whether I agree or disagree with their, his voters is irrelevant. If he actually represents his voters, I love it. That would be a great breakthrough in our democracy. And he says, uh, you, I want you on us to raise the debt ceiling because that's... Uh, helps your corporations that are in your chamber of commerce uh, and actually those corporations don't mind the overspending at all uh, they like to just t they take a lot of that spending for themselves that's they bribe the politicians to get a lot of that spending they get a, a lot of the subsidies that way etc cetera, etc cetera. now sometimes they mind it if, it if the debt gets out of hand and then they want to shift all the problems onto the middle class and the Tea Party will help them do that tremendously that's why they get along 98 percent of the time but in this one time Walsh is saying we're not taking our orders from you you might have created this beast and you might have funded all of us you might have put us in office but we get to do whatever we want and I think that's a great development and if he is actually earnest in his ideology I got no problems with him we can have those debates my problem is with politicians who are not earnest and who just take that money to get reelected and don't give a damn about their voters. If you want to build a website or a blog, where do you go? 
you go to squarespace.com. Squarespace just pushed a brand new social widget for geolocation services. Display your most recent check-ins from Foursquare, Gowalla, and Facebook places on a live Google map. Go to squarespace.com slash TYT and get a two-week trial for free.